In this tutorial, I will show you how to crossfade a video clip as well as the audio. I will also show you how to edit the audio so that you can fade from an audio clip to another audio clip while still crossfading the video clips. If you've never used Caden Live, then I have left a link to my uh, beginner's tutorial in the description below this video. It's certainly worth um, having a quick look at it because if you've never um, created proxies, say, for a video, you'll struggle when trying to edit lots of different video clips because uh, the timeline will stick eventually. Whereas these proxy clips, hence the letter P, they're lower definition video clips which when you come to render your video, um, although they're low definition, they link through to the original clip and it renders the original clip um, in full definition. Anyway, I'll explain a bit more about this in my beginner's uh, tutorial. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just drag a couple of clips into this timeline. So I'm going to drag that one in and then below this one drag another video clip in just below on the timeline making sure that it's overlapping now one thing I do when I'm putting together a lot of video clips is rather than mucking around with the disc timing between two videos say if I am using uh, transitions or fading out and in is I actually upload a picture. Now that might sound a bit daft but you'll see what I mean in a minute. Um, just find a picture that's uh, suitable. Okay that'll do. And I'll drag this picture below both the video clips. Now I want to decide that I, I'm going to basically set this up um, so that it's as long as the crossfade that I want so what I'll do is I'll double click using my left mouse button on this blank picture and I'll set the time duration up so at present it says five seconds so I'm going to click on the five and just type three and hit return or hit enter and then left click OK and I'll slide it over to the end of one video clip and then slide the other video clip to match so basically every time I want to um, bring in any you know so say if I brought in another video clip here I can drag this one here and I can match it up and I know I got three seconds it doesn't have to be 100% accurate roughly three seconds if I want OK. If you left click on your first video clip, then right click on your first video clip, next to where it says add transitions, left click on dissolve. And what this will do is crossfade your video but what it won't do is crossfade your audio so right click on your first video clip then left click where it says split audio then right click on your second audio clip and again left click where it says split audio And again, right click on your first audio clip, and then next to Add Effects, Fade, left click Fade Out. Then right click on your second audio clip, in fact, I'll slide this down so you can see it a bit clearer. Right click on your second audio clip, and again, next to Add Effect, it says Fade, left click Fade Out. Sorry, I've got that wrong just clear that down. Again right click, 
add effect and left click fade in now at present this says three seconds which is what I've um, set up the distance between these two videos where they overlap and what you'll end up with is something that sounds like this now another option okay, I'm going to right click here and then on the little red button left click to delete that fade and I'm going to do the same there another option is rather than fading across the audio clips to actually fade out and then into so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just drag this timeline marker roughly to the middle of this dissolve so it's in between the end part and the beginning part of each video clip again it doesn't have to be accurate we're only talking seconds and I'm going to press X on the keyboard which brings up the scissors and I'm going to cut one of the audio clips and I'm going to press S I'm going to right click on the audio clip and I'm going to left click ungroup clips then I'm going to right click again on this bit of audio clip and I'm going to left click delete selected item I'll press X again to bring up the scissors and I'm going to left click, sorry, right click get it right in a minute I'm going to left click on the audio clip then I'm going to right click and ungroup the clip I'm going to right click and then left click delete selected item so basically we now cut the audio without cutting the video press S go back to select then I'm going to right click on this audio clip the first one add effect next to fade I'm going to left click on fade out now what I'll do here is I need to make sure that this is roughly in line with the start of the second audio clip so I'm going to slide this slider by holding down my left mouse button and dragging my mouse so that the red section just starts roughly at the beginning of the second audio clip then I'm going to right click on the second audio clip then next to add effect I'm going to fade and then I'm going to fade in and again I'll slide this slider so that the red section just lines up with the end of the first audio clip And that should give you an effect that sounds a bit like this. Hopefully this has helped a few people. Um, I won't go into details about rendering. Um, I'll assume that you know a bit more um, about that uh, side of things. Like I said before, if you need a bit of help, including rendering, then there is a link at the bottom of this uh, video in the descriptions. Thank you for watching.